COVID-19 and the movies. With this talk, I will look at the parallels and aspects from various movies that show some similarity to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. There's something very relaxing about watching a good movie at the end of a long work week. Movies entertain us and can give us an escape into a world of imagination for a couple of hours. But they are also a medium for information, different perspective, reflection, and sometimes insight into things we may have never thought of before. Here are eight movies that caught my attention. Children of Men, starring Clive Owen. Its timeline is set in the year 2027. Its main theme is that no child has been born for 18 years, and it is the last days of the human race. The movie mentions a flu pandemic that swept over the earth in the year 2008, but the movie does not mention if it is the virus or human intervention to stop the virus with vaccines or other medical technology that causes the world to be left infertile. The director wanted the audience to use their imagination to fill in what they think could have caused the worldwide infertility. Mission Impossible 2 starring Tom Cruise as Agent Ethan Hunt tasked to find but not destroy a biological weapon called Chimera developed in secret by a pharmaceutical company called Biocythe. Its executive was looking to release the virus, cause a worldwide panic, then make millions off of its cure called Bellariform. This rings in our world of pharmaceutical executives wanting the pandemic to go on for years so they can make billions. Outbreak starring Dustin Hoffman. The film focuses on an outbreak of a fictional Ebola-like virus called Mutaba. The plot of Outbreak speculates on how far military and government agencies might go to contain the spread of a deadly contagious disease. As the movie unfolds, it becomes clear they are dealing with a virus that quickly mutates into a strain capable of spreading like influenza and becoming airborne, creating mass panic. A lot like our current pandemic today. 28 Days Later, a British film starring Cillian Murphy. The plot depicts the breakdown of society following a pandemic caused by the accidental release of a highly contagious, rage-inducing virus and focuses on the struggle of four survivors coping with the destruction of the lives they once knew while evading those infected by the virus. This film calls to mind the lab leak theory possibly being the cause of the pandemic in our world. I Am Legend starring Will Smith. It is set in New York after scientists attempt to genetically re-engineer the measles virus to cure cancer. It then becomes lethal, infecting 99% of the world's population and wiping out most of mankind, and turning those it does not kill into cannibalistic mutants called dark seekers, who are extremely vulnerable to sunlight. This movie is a tale of how even the smartest of mankind can make a mistake and it can have devastating effects with unforeseen consequences on the whole world. Contagion, starring Matt Damon. The plot concerns the spread of a virus called MEV1, transmitted by respiratory droplets and fomites. It shows attempts by medical researchers and public health officials to identify and contain the disease, and it looks at what the loss of social order in a pandemic could look like. Also, it touches on the introduction of a vaccine to halt the spread of the virus and regain control of society. This movie was meant to be an entertainment simulation 
of many of the things we are going through in the pandemic in our world, with many scientific experts being brought in to the making of this movie. It came out in the theaters in 2011, and its presentation is the closest film I've seen that parallels the COVID-19 pandemic. Songbird, starring K.J. Apa. The plot is set in the year 2024, and the COVID-19 virus has mutated into COVID-23, and the world is in its fourth pandemic year. In the United States, people are required to take temperature checks on their cell phones, while those infected with COVID-23 are taken from their homes against their will and forced into quarantine camps called Q-Zones. In these camps, the infected are left to die or forcibly get better. This movie moves us to a future of a seemingly never-ending COVID nightmare that goes from one mutation to the next. It also shows a future need by government to identify who has immunity and who does not. Long before COVID, the movies have always had a message, a warning, a hope, and sometimes insight into the things that have happened in the past and what could become the future for us all. Thank you.